We're here to check out the Galaxy A54 to see if it's the best cheap phone on the market. Let's go take a look. Well, let's talk about specs. Here's what you're getting for the money. For 449, you're getting an Exynos 1380 processor, six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, although you won't be able to go up to eight gigs if you want a little bit more RAM. Samsung says that this processor is about 20% better in terms of CPU performance versus the last version and about 26% better in terms of graphics performance, but we're not gonna know for sure until we get it into our labs. I do kind of like the rounded edges on this. A lot of people complain about the iPhone having like two squared off edges, but the design on this is pretty nice. So what you're getting is Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and back. So it's not the latest Victus 2, but it should be enough to ward against drops and scratches, at least a little bit. And the sides are aluminum, so this is not a plastic phone. It's pretty comfortable to hold. If I have one nitpick about the design, it's just that you are getting slightly thicker bezels than you do on more premium flagships, but the average user is not going to care about that. One of the, the features that you get with this phone, even though it's budget, is that it's 120 hertz. So this is a 6.4 inch display, 120 hertz refresh rate, so you can scroll and get smooth scrolling for less money. Not only are you getting a 120 hertz refresh rate, this is a pretty vivid 6.4 inch OLED panel. So you're getting wide viewing angles, perfect blacks, rich colors. The only drawback is that you get a thousand nits of brightness versus let's say 1700 for the S23 series. So outdoors, you're not gonna have as great an experience, so direct sunlight might be a challenge. But overall, this is a really good panel. On the Galaxy A54, you have your choice of a few different cameras here. So you have a 50 megapixel main sensor, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a five megapixel depth sensor. So what you don't get is a telephoto zoom, but what you do have is a digital zoom that goes up to 10X and it's not bad. So as you can see here, you have the two X zoom here's by default. Again, that's digital, not optical. You go up to four X, 10 X, take a shot there. So you can definitely see that there's a, a lot of noise in there. So that's one of the trade-offs that you get for the Galaxy A54 versus the S23 is just the lack of telephoto zoom. One other upgrade that you're getting with the Galaxy A54 is that the sensor, even though it's less resolution, it's 50 megapixels, it's a larger sensor and it's also a wider aperture. So you should get better images and brighter images indoors. One of the cameras on the Galaxy A54 is a macro mode, so you can get really good close up. So as you can see here, we got close up on this flower and the details are actually pretty nice, especially as you get into the, the petals there. So not perfect, but pretty good, especially for the money. So you're probably wondering how long is the fun going to last? The Galaxy A54 comes with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty big. And we expect better endurance than last time. Hopefully the 1380 chip will be more efficient. With the A53, we saw a little under 10 hours of battery life. We consider anything 11 and a half hours or above good enough to make our best phone battery life list. So we're hoping that this one lasts a little bit longer on a charge. And you're not gonna get like super fast charging, but it's 25 watt out of the box, which again is good for a value phone. The Galaxy A54 has a very simple mission. Be a cheap phone that doesn't look or feel like a cheap phone. And so far, based on our first impressions, we're pretty impressed. You're getting a big and fairly bright 6.4 inch display with a 120 Hertz refresh rate, a large 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and it looks like pretty good performance from the Exynos processor but we wanna see if the battery lasts a long time on a charge and how good these cameras are for the money. Stay tuned for our full review from Tom's Guide. This is Mark Spoonauer.